hello guys you are welcome again to my channel so this here comes another challenge which read 3 to the power of x plus 1 over x minus 2 plus 3 to the power of 2x minus 1 over x minus 2 is equals to 36 so we are looking for the possible value for x so please if you are new here kindly subscribe and by the time you subscribe please don't forget to turn on the notification button so that you get notified anytime i drop videos or mass so let's see how we can solve this with ease so we can say solution solution the right our question which is uh, 3 3 to the power of x plus 1 over x minus 2 plus 3 to the power of 2x minus 1 over x minus 2 is equals to 36 we are having 36 here so what are we going to do what then is the next step okay we are having 3 to the power of 2x minus 1 over uh, x minus 2 we want to make this power number let's try to make this power number somehow similar to x plus 1 over x minus 2 so we're already having this denominator to be to be the same so but the numerator in this is quite different from this so let's work on this numerator we can yes we can work on this numerator so we can write this to be 3 to the power of x plus 1 over x minus 2 plus 3 to the power of we can x recall your 2x 2x is also equals to x plus x right so we can write x plus x minus 1 over x minus 2 is equals to is equals to 36 so notice notice changes it still remains the same because we'll say x plus s is going to give us what this 2x and we are coming back to this so since we've gotten this we can write this to be 3 to the power of x plus 1 we're having one here over x minus 2 plus 3 to the power of x plus x so recall minus 1 is also equals to minus 2 plus plus 1 your minus 1 is equals to minus 2 plus 1 so in the place of minus 1 can write minus 2 plus 1 over x minus 2 is equals to 36 so nothing changes it still remains the same so we're having a 3 to the power of x plus 1 over x minus 2 plus 3 to the power of x plus x minus 2 plus 1 over x minus 2 x minus 2 so note uh x plus x minus 2 plus 1 is also equals to x minus 2 plus x plus 1 what we just did we just rearrange it we just rearrange so if we should write this so in the whole of this which is this we can put this so you can say 3 to the power of x plus 1 over x minus 2 plus 3 to the power of x minus 2 plus x plus 1 over x minus 2 is equals to 36 so this is what we are now having we are now having 3 to the power of x plus 1 over x minus 2 plus 3 to the power of x minus 2 plus x plus 1 over x minus 2 so we are taking it down so what we are now having so haven't done this haven't done this so what then is the next step what then is the next step okay okay we can quickly put a bracket here let's put a bracket here to demarcate to demarcate them we can put a bracket here we can put a bracket here we are having a the plus sign here we are having the plus sign there okay haven't done this haven't done this haven't done this so what then is the next step recall from a basic algebraic principle if you're having a plus b over c it's also equals to a over c plus b over c so what did i just do i just make each of all these numbers uh, the numerators will have their own denominators so a over c plus b over c you can see that a is now having its own denominators and b is now having its own denominator so if we should apply this this principle at this point i can write this to be 3 to the power of x plus 1 over x minus 2 plus 3 to the power of x minus 2 over x minus 2 plus x plus 1 over x minus 2 is equals to 36 so this is what i'm not having so i'm not having 3 to the power of x plus 1 over x minus 2 plus 3 to the power of x minus 2 over x minus 2 plus 3 to the power of sorry x 
plus 1 over x minus 2. So this is what I'm not having. This is what I'm not having by making each of them to have their own denominators. So since I've done this, since I've done this, what then is the next step? What then is the next step? So which implies, which implies, recall if we are having a to the power of m plus n is also equals to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. If you're having a to the power of m plus n, it's also equals to a to the power of n times a to the power of n. So if I should apply this principle at this point, you can see we are having this x 3 to the power of x minus 2 over x minus 2 plus x plus 1 over x minus 1. So if you obey this principle here, we are having this to be uh, 3 to the power of x plus 1 over x minus 2 plus 3 to the power of x minus 2 over x minus 2 times 3 to the power of x plus 1 over x minus 2 is equals to 36. It's equals to 36. By applying this principle, a to the power of m plus n is equals to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So this principle, I applied it here, so I now later resolve to 3 to the power of x minus 2 over x minus 2 times 3 to the power of x plus 1 over x minus 2 equals to 36. So let's move further and solve. Okay, since we've gotten this, since we've gotten this, what are we going to do? Recall if we're having, if we're having a to the power of c over c, it's also equals to a to the power of 1 because this c will cancel off the c. So if we should apply this principle at this point, at this point, consider this numerator, this, denom this denominator and this numerator are the same, right? So they can cancel out. So we're having a, we're not having 3 to the power of x, x plus 1 over x minus 2 plus 3 to the power of 1, because this, this and this, we go, times... 3 to the power of x plus 1 over x minus 2 is equals to is equals to 36. Is equals to we are having 36 here. Is equals to 36. Having done that, having done that, so what then is the next step? What then is the next step? So the next thing we can do is by saying we are having 3 to the power of x plus 1 over x minus 2 plus 3 to the power of 1 times. 3 to the power of x plus 1 over x minus 2 is equal to 36. You can see that we are having 3 to the power of x plus 1 over x minus 2 here, and we are also having it here. We can also simply factor them out. So if you factor them out, we are now having 3 to the power of x plus 1 over x minus 2, open bracket. So if you bring out this one, we are going to have 1 plus this 3, 3 to the power of 1, close bracket is equal to what? 36 okay haven't done this so we can simply write this to be 3 to the power of x plus 1 over x minus 2 open brackets 1 3 to the power of 1 is going to give us what 3 so we're having 3 close bracket is equals to 36 okay haven't done this haven't done this so we're now having 3 to the power of x plus 1 over x minus 2 Open bracket 4, close bracket is equals to 36 because we see 3 plus 1 is going to give us what? 4. So if we should divide both sides by 4, we are having 3 to the power of x plus 1 over x minus 2 is equals to, if you divide both sides by 6, we are having 36 over 4. Right? Which implies, which implies we are now having 3 to the power of x plus 1 over x minus 2 is equals to 4 is going to give us 1 4 is going to give us what 9 so we're having 3 to the power of x 3 to the power of x plus 1 over x minus 2 is going to give us 9 so having done this we can write this to be 3 to the power of x plus 1 over x minus 2 is equals to so we can write 9 and 9 9 is equals to 3 to the power of what of 2 okay so we can say 3 to the power of what of two okay this is what we are not having haven't done this this and this can go so we can cancel off this so we can say x plus one over x minus two is equals to is equals to two so we can simply cross multiply if we cross multiply we're not having which implies 
we are now having x plus 1 is equals to 2 open bracket x minus 2 close the bracket so having done this what are we now having we are now having x plus 1 is equals to if you open the bracket we're having 2x minus 4 right so if you bring this to this other side and bring this to this other side we're now having 2x minus x is equals to 4 plus 1 right so we are now having x is equals to is equals to 5 so the value of x uh, x is equals to 5 so the value of x is 5 so let's substitute the value of x into our previous equation to see whether the value of x is correct so let's do that okay this is what we're now having we're now having 3 to the power of x plus 1 over x minus 2 plus 3 to the power of 2x minus 1 over x minus 2 is equals to 36 and this is our question and this is our value for x so let's substitute the value of x into this to see what is going to give us 36 okay let's do that so we can write this to be 3 to the power of i uh, know x to be 5 so 5 plus 1 over 5 minus 2 plus 3 to the power of 2 times 5 is going to give us 10 10 minus 1 over 5 minus 2 is equals to 36 right so this plus this 5 plus 1 is going to give us 6 and 5 minus 2 is going to give us 3 so we're not having 3 to the power of 6 over what 3 plus 3 10 minus 1 is going to give us what 9 we're not having 9 over 5 minus 2 is going to give us what 3 is equals to what 36 so 3 is going to give us 1 3 is going to give us 2 3 is going to give us 1 3 is going to give us what 3 so we're not having 3 to the power of 2 plus 3 to the power of 3 is equals to what 36 right so this 3 to the power of 2 is going to give us what 9 so we're having 3 to the power of 2 is going to give us 9 plus 3 to the power of 3 is going to give us what 27 is equals to 36 now if you add this together if we add this together we're having 27 plus 9 27 plus 9 9 plus 7 is going to give us 16 so we can write 6 carry 1 2 plus 1 is going to give us 3 so we're having 36 so 36 is equals to 36 so the value for x is correct so if you are new here and you have not clicked on the subscription button please do where to do that by clicking on the subscription button and turning on the notification bell and also don't please don't forget to hit on the thumbs up button bye for now god bless you jesus loves you and see you in my subsequent video bye